Unfortunately, Frank, we don't get to talk about any victories this week. I saw a stat that all of the Florida FCS and FBS teams were in a combined 0 and 9, and that includes the Florida Gators. We will start with them. And Billy Napier, news that he will be continuing as the head coach. That was kind of the big news that uh, Scott Strickland came out and said, listen, he's going to be remain our coach. He didn't put a number on it, but everybody knows that means he's going to be here next year, which is probably the right decision, I think. Fans don't want that. If he's the wrong coach, fire him next year. But he's got a lot of really good young players, DJ Lagway among those. Uh, they've galvanized a little bit. Now they got blasted at Texas because they didn't have Lagway, and they really didn't have a quarterback to play in that game, so they weren't going to win that game. So uh, they're struggling a little bit right now. They hope Lagway can come back against LSU. But I think it's the right decision on Billy. If, I'm not sure he's the right coach. Alessandro, I'm not sure he's a good coach. Uh, he's, a, he's a good organizer. The players really like him. They play hard for him. I don't know if he's going to ever have that sideline knack that the great coaches have. But for now, it's too early to pull the plug, and I'm glad they're going to stay with him. As for the game against Texas, uh, they weren't going to have a chance without D.J. Lagway or Graham Mertz, and I think we all knew that. Yeah, I think that was definitely a, a definite. But let's talk about this weekend. They are going to be hosting LSU, and LSU got destroyed by Alabama this past weekend. Yeah, Alabama really, for people, I mean, they didn't just beat LSU. They went into Baton Rouge and laid it to LSU. So LSU's a wounded team a little bit, and I'll be interested to see the way they respond. Florida needs to get Lagway back. If Lagway doesn't come back, they have no chance to win the game. Uh, they're, they're playing the walk-on, and he's doing the best he can, Aiden Warner, but he's not going to beat LSU. It doesn't matter where the game's played. There's just no passing game at all, so you got to hope Lagway can come back. He warmed up against Texas in full uniform, said he felt better, but they just didn't think it was time to put him out there. They've got to really hope Lagway comes back. If Lagway comes back, they can beat LSU. LSU, again, really got gutted by Alabama. LSU's a good football team. Uh, Florida has played better of late, certainly when they've had Lagway. That could be a very good game, and I think Florida could beat LSU if they've got D.J. Lagway. Wow. Florida having a chance to beat LSU you would not be uh, too – You wouldn't. I don't think we would be saying that yeah. earlier this season, but look at that. Let's talk about Florida State. Uh, Sunday night it was announced that Mike Norvell has dismissed offensive coordinator, his defensive coordinator, yeah. and his wide receivers coach. Yeah, they, he, he had to do something. It's one of the great collapses of all time. This is a team that was 13-0 in the regular season last year, Finished 13 1 after, after Travis got hurt and they lost in the bowl game. And now might be the worst team, might be the worst FBS team out there. Certainly the worst Power Four team out there. Nobody saw that coming. He had to do something. Look, it's hard to fire coaches. Those coaches are your friends. You've been together a long time. That was tough for Norvell, but he had to gut him. And my guess is he was probably told, you have to do. You want to come back? You've got a big buyout. We're not getting rid of you, but you've got to do something. So I'm not surprised he gutted him. I'm surprised it happened this early. I would have expected at the end of the year. Look, they've got an off week in Charleston Southern and Florida, so, so they're trying to find some way to win a game or two at the end of the year. But it's been a disaster in Tallahassee. Notre Dame rolled them like everybody's been rolling them, and he had to do something. So I'm not surprised the coaches are fired. A little surprised this early, but not surprised they're fired. Okay, let's talk about Georgia. The Georgia Bulldogs, they lost to Ole Miss. Um, quite disappointing, a little surprising. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a closer game than that. But, hey, you got to give it to Lane Kiffin and Jackson Dart. Yeah, I'll say this. Two weeks ago, Florida revealed some flaws in the Georgia football team. Carson Beck wasn't very good in that game, and Georgia looked beatable. I mean, Lagway didn't get hurt. Florida might have beat them. And so then when that happened, you think, hmm. Meanwhile, Ole Miss did not have a signature win under Lane Kiffin. Had a lot of wins, won a bunch of games, but he didn't win the big one. This was a – everybody in Oxford was waiting for this game. It's the biggest win of Lane Kiffin's career, and I agree with you. Jackson Dart got hurt in the game, left the game, limped back in and played fantastic. He was really good. And Georgia's wounded a little bit now. Look, Georgia's lost twice, and they've got Tennessee coming in there who's pretty good. Georgia could miss the playoffs. No, I don't think that's going to happen. One more loss, and they're out. So with this Georgia football team that many, me included, thought would get to the mountaintop this year, they're really in trouble now. That loss hurt them. They played a great schedule. In fairness, they really had to take on a great schedule. Uh, but they've got to find a way to beat Tennessee. Yeah, it's going to be a good, good game this weekend in Athens. Frank, thank you so much, and thank you for watching Campus Corner.